A flapping wing robot able to perch. A flapping wing robot able to perch. You're listening to World Reading Club's Technical News Reading, presented by Hakim Alibokis Alexander on Spreaker Social Podcasting, presented for World Reading Club in association with Uniquilibrium. This edition's reading focus comes to us from techbriefs.com and is titled A Flapping Wing Robot Able to Perch. It was published on January 26, 2023 under the categories of design, manufacturing and prototyping, motion control, propulsion, research lab, robotics, automation and control, sensors, data acquisition, tests and measurement, and unmanned systems. A flapping wing robot able to perch. Researchers have developed a flapping wing robot that can land autonomously on a horizontal perch using a claw-like mechanism. Our first image seems to be of that robot and is captioned the ornithopter perching image Raphael Zuffery Tech Briefs continues a bird landing on a branch is no big deal we see it happen hundreds if not more of times per day but a flapping wing robot ornithopter performing the same feat unheard of until now In what could drastically increase robot-assisted tasks, Dr. Raphael Zuffery and a team of researchers have developed and tested at the University of Seville, Spain, a 700-gram, 1.5-pound ornithopter. This is the first phase of a larger project, Zuffery said. Once an ornithopter can master landing autonomously on a tree branch, then it has the potential to carry out specific tasks, such as unobtrusively collecting biological samples or measurements from a tree. Eventually, it could even land on artificial structures, which could open up further areas of application. In addition, the perching could provide a way for ornithopters to recharge using solar energy thus making them perfect for long-range missions. Another featured image here shows the ornithopter flying, and the caption says just as much, the ornithopter flying, image Raphael Zuffery. This is a big step toward using flapping wing robots, which as of now can really only do free flights for manipulation tasks and other real-world applications, he said. The engineering issues that come with perching an ornithopter, sans external commands, required mitigating many variables. It had to be able to slow down prior to perching while still maintaining flight. Its claw needed to be strong enough, yet not too heavy, so as to grasp grasp the perch and support the robot's weight. And it needed to be able to perceive its environment and the perch in relation to its own position speed, and trajectory. The researchers achieved all of that by equipping the ornithopter with a fully onboard computer and navigation system, which was complemented by an external motion capture system to help it determine positioning. In addition, its leg claw appendage was finely calibrated to compensate for the oscillations of flight as it attempted to home in on and grasp the perch. Once perched, the robot remains without energy expenditure. Another featured image here shows the ornithopter's claw. Image again is credited to Raphael Zuffery. Tech Briefs continues. Zuffery and the team wound up building two claw-footed ornithopters to replicate their perching results. Here is a Tech Briefs interview edited for clarity and length with Zuffery. Tech Briefs. What inspired the research? Zuffery. It's part of a larger project. We're trying to do what we call manipulation with flapping robots. The idea here is to have robots that can physically interact with the environment, trees, infrastructure, 
industrial applications, stuff like that. The first step toward being able to do any kind of manipulation would be to physically perch. Tech Briefs What were the biggest technical challenges you faced on the journey? Zuffery The biggest challenge was to integrate everything into one platform. By everything, I mean we have a claw system that has to hold the weight of the robot once we land. We need to compensate the oscillations, and we need to actually get to the branch in the first place. Integrating all that and mastering all those aspects into one flying robot that has to execute everything and be very precisely timed was difficult. Another image here shows the ornithopter's claw in action. Image also to Raphael Zuffri. Tech briefs. Would you mind explaining in very simple terms how the technology works? Zuffri. We did the perching maneuver, which starts by launching the robot with a catapult into a fixed speed. At that point, the wings take over and flap about 60 degrees at around 4 times per second. The robot then follows a trajectory toward the branch, and as we close into the branch, we detect it with a sensor that's on board, and compensate for the oscillations that are generated by the flapping wings during flight. Once that's compensated, we then reach very close to the branch and, mechanically, the claw latches onto the branch. The claw has been designed so that it has sufficient strength to hold the robot on the branch without using any energy. That was particularly important. We want to be able to stay on the branch without having any motors enabled, for example. Tech Briefs What's the next step and how many place phases are there altogether? Zuffery. The next step, in my opinion, is flying outdoors. Right now, the maneuver was performed inside in controlled conditions. For example, there's no wind. The light condition never changes. Everything is very controlled, and we have a motion capture system inside. It's a system that allows us to know, with high precision, where the robot is at every point in time. Related articles, wing flapping aircraft hovers and flies, and flying robot mimics rapid insect flight. Tech Briefs continues. Once you move this whole task outside, you're faced with a lot of new challenges. You have to rely on satellite data, GPS, which is slightly less accurate. You're dealing with light changes, wind, and all those different things. The next step is definitely to be able to have a bird that's able to fly, detect the branch, and land outside. Tech Briefs How long do you think it will be before the tech will be ubiquitous or commercialized? Zuffery There is a lot of improvement that is happening on that kind of aspect with standard drones that you can buy commercially. So now it's a matter of transferring this technology a bit towards flapping robots. So hopefully not too far in the future. I'm hoping that in the next decade there will be a lot of new exciting developments with those flapping robots. It's quite an active field of research. I think we'll see a lot more results soon. You've been listening to Technical News Reading for World Reading Club, presented by Hakeem Alibokis Alexander on Spreaker, social podcasting, presented for World Reading Club in association with Uniquilibrium. This edition's reading focus has come to us from techbriefs.com and is titled A Flapping Wing Robot Able to Perch. It was published on January 26, 2023, under the categories of design, manufacturing and prototyping, motion control, propulsion, research lab, robotics, automation and control, sensors and data acquisition, test and measurement, and unmanned systems. You can read this article and others like it for yourself by visiting techbriefs.com. That's T-E-C-H-B-R-I-E-F-S dot C-O-M techbriefs.com and whether you're enjoying it or not you're going to continue listening to this binaural beat called Vesper Dust under my production suite known as Demi Cerebral Neurophasing or Demi Phase for short it's got birds too <laughs> <laughs>